Was that my sister? Or was that the person who murdered my sister? I don't know. All I know is there's a lot of blood. That thing has a large head, kind of like mine. That's why I wear this cap so you guys can't see my gigantic forehead. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. Oh boy, it is getting very, very dark. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to... Hey, sis, is that you? There was certainly something wrong with her. Yeah, dude. Yeah, of course there's something wrong with her, man. She had no eyes. She had zero eyes. Under the bed. Oh. A 12 gauge shotgun is always the answer to all of life's problems. That's night. <laughs> what? what was that? Am I supposed to blast my sister away? What's going on? Hey, how's it going? My name is Bleat and tonight we're playing Fatal Midnight. Hope you guys enjoy. My parents on vacation, went on vacation and I was left to look after my sister. She has some problems. Sometimes she is very strange, so I have to look after her. So everything was fine until I heard strange noises in the middle of the night. Okay. Very straightforward. That's how we like it. That's how I actually prefer it. Straightforward, simple, easy to keep track of. Okay. Darn. Those sounds, my sister is probably feeling bad again. I, I can't read fast. I'm such a slow reader and I always miss out on things. I'm so sorry. That's just how I am. Oh, we're in it. Let's grab this flashlight. Controls feel... Well, first of all, the game looks great already looks great it did say on steam that the the game had like a grainy like overlay to it which is definitely obvious um i don't know if i've actually played a game that looks quite like this dang dude look at this house who is living here we might be squatters is this my sister's room no in here nope let's go back this way maybe it's down the hall all right is this my sister's room oh it's looking like it oh my gosh what happened here this is pretty brutal already my goodness i need to find my sister right away all right let's do it is she under the bed maybe she's under the bed probably not okay i say this a lot guys i say this all the time actually but i mean it all the time i hope all of you guys are doing well i really do i love um being able to play these games and talk to you guys and uh i know i've been over the whole like live stream thing and all that like streaming that would be fun i do think it'd be fun and i'm not it's uh, not off the table i think i would like to i would i think i would enjoy it uh, down the road to so I could like talk to you guys in real time but I love this and doing this and then hearing from you guys in the comment section and talking and all that it's uh it's good but yeah hope you guys are doing great hello all right um but yeah I don't know if I've, I've if I've played a game quite like this um oh is that me and my sister Sorry, my nose is really itchy. It's probably from snorting lines of cocaine. Oh, sister. Are you in here? I heard whispering. Okay, I guess I need to read this. Lately, I've been getting more and more worried about my child. My child has started acting very strange and scary. I'm afraid. I don't know if it's a mental problem or something otherworldly. Oh, that's... Oh, that's intense. That was kind of intense. I was expecting something to be on the ceiling. Oh. Oh. Oh! I didn't see this before. Was this blood here? Before? I don't know. Could have been. I am not the most observant gamer out there, uh, as you guys, I'm sure, are aware. This game looks pretty good. It, it looks like I've played... Oof, a little bit of lag there. I've played games that look realistic, but this one has a different look to it. It's like grainy. And uh, it just looks looks a little bit different. Hello? <gasps> Jeez, okay. All right, oh, where am I at now? Oh, the room changed entirely. All right, no funny business. Was that my sister? Or was that the person who murdered my sister? I don't know. All I know is there's a lot of blood. Oh, a lot of blood that I wasn't quite prepared for. I wasn't quite expecting that. I don't know, as always. And this should just be, this should just be a given on my channel. Um, I don't really know anything about these games. Largely, the games I play, well, this is weird. The games I play, I don't really find them from, I just browse Steam and, and look at, you know, the games that are highly reviewed and then play them. You know, if they look good, I play them. Um, I guess I could be running, whoa. That's, that's actually terrifying. Full on terrifying. But largely, I don't know what I'm doing in these games. I mean, what would a horror game be without a noose? 
honestly. Also the crowbars, crowbars are very, and bolt cutters. Bolt cutters are a staple as well. It's strange, it looks like the paintings are moving. Does it? Oh. Did I see something? Did I see something down that hall? Or was that just my imagination? Probably a spooky little ghoul. Spooky little friend running around, trouncing around in my house. Huh. Okay. Um, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, I don't really know what I'm doing in these games. Which, I mean, jeez. These games are just, I mean, they're just walking simulators, largely. There's really not much to do except walk around. Yeah, I find most of my games on Steam just browsing on Steam, browsing on itch.io. Sometimes I look at other YouTubers and see what they're doing. Um, that helps a lot if the game is trending. It helps me get out there, but not all the games that are being played are that interesting to me, you know? So I just kind of play, I, I try to, you know, um, find a good balance of what's trending and what I find interesting and this, that, and the other, you know? Well, this is definitely not the same as it was before. Maybe I need to move more paintings. Are there any more paintings in here? I need to twist. Oh, here we go. There we go. There is... What is this? What is this sound? Well, I hear my heartbeat. Is that what you mean? Or the TV? Full disclosure, there is a sprint. I'm sure you guys have noticed in this game. I can sprint. However, I'm choosing not to because I'm scared. I don't want to get to the scary parts faster. I would rather just kind of casually go about it, stumble upon it casually. There's gotta be a jump scare coming up soon. There, ha there has to be. Okay, well, I guess that's not the way to go. So we need to chill in here a little longer. That thing has a large head, kind of like mine. That's why I wear this cap so you guys can't see my gigantic forehead. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. Oh, here we go. Man, I am just getting more rooms in my house and it's great. This is great. My this is great. My house is getting bitter. Bi <laughs> my house is getting bigger. Uh my house is getting big. That looks like Kiko Man soy sauce. Kiko Man Kiko Man soy sauce. That it looks like that's what that is. All right, this one's gonna shut. Yep. This one's gonna shut. Yep. This one's gonna shut, and there's gonna be a jump scare. I can feel it. This is always the worst. This is always the worst. Whenever I gotta turn around. This is always the worst. <sighs> okay, 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 not too bad. Can I open these doors? Nope, cannot, not. Um, also, 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 I heard, read that this game, people reviewed it and said, it's so dark, it's getting very dark all of a sudden. Oh boy, it is getting very, very dark. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to, hey, sis, is that you? Is that you? Is that you, sis? You hanging in there? You doing all right? There was a lot of blood. A whole lot of blood. How you doing? <laughs> These nightmares again. I'll check on my sister and see how she is. As I was saying, this game was highly, pretty highly reviewed. Looks like it doesn't work. Oh, that's a shame. People were saying it was very scary. People were saying it was the best horror game they've ever played. I think people said that. I'm not sure. I think they did. Uh, so I was excited to give this one a try. Thank God she's okay. Indeed. Although we probably should move a little in a little bit just to make sure that's her and not a pile of pillows. Okay, uh, I guess not. I'm gonna go wash my face. All right, sis, I'll see you later. Wish I had a flashlight. I'm pretty sure I've seen this portrait before of these two lovely children. I always have like a train of thought. Oh, hang on. Uh, I think I'm hungry. I'll go to the kitchen and eat. I got some leftover pizza in there. Ooh, nice. Pizza's gotta be one of my favorite foods. If you guys had to give up pizza or burgers for the rest of your life, which one would it be? For me, it's a no-brainer. I would, although I love burgers, I love a good burger for sure, no doubt. Uh, but I would have to give up burgers. I'm just a big pizza guy. I think I would definitely give up burgers. All right, this box is empty. Should be another one in the fridge. Cool. Ah, there we go. I need to find a plate. Why is my heart rate kicking up? What's that about? Is that my heart rate or is somebody playing the drums? All that's left is to heat up the pizza. Okay. Okay, cool. Man, I feel like I've said, like I've I've started a lot of conversations really with myself. Well, with you guys, because I'm talking to you guys, but I've said, I've said a lot of things and then like something happens. It's boring to eat in silence. I'll go eat in front of the TV. I feel like I've said a lot of things and then I have not completed my train of thought because I get distracted. 
So I feel like there's a lot of things I've said so far that I've just not finished talking about, but that's okay. Honestly, the things I say are really not that interesting. To be honest, to be fair. Strange, these doors were open before. Can you open them again? Don't know why I'm trying to go outside. I need to find a TV. Where's the T? Is it upstairs? That's not the TV. Where's the TV at? Is it in here? TV? Television? Uh, okay. Let's... Was it, was it in my bedroom? Ah, here we go. Let's sit down and eat our pizza and watch some television. Oh, 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 I'm supposed to eat the pizza. One pizza slice down. Here's something upstairs. Sister, was that you? Was that you, sister? Something tells me we're about to find out. Okay, now what? So, oh, coming. Hang on a second. I think it's funny how I wanted to watch TV while I ate my pizza and I just <laughs> watched a static television. What's that sound? I'm gonna go check on my sister. All right, let's see what kind of trouble she's in now. Oh, sister. <gasps> she's gone. It's strange that she's gone. I'll go look for where she is. Okay, let's go this way because reasons. Not in here. How about the bathroom? Let's check the bathroom, see if she's in the bathroom. <coughs> How about the living room? Let's try that. No. Hang on a second. I'm coming. Oh, sis. You on the t- hmm. Didn't like that. Did not like that too much. Oh, hey! Hey, sis! Where are you going? She's probably gone to the basement. I need to follow her. <laughs> this is so weird. This is so bizarre. Oh my gosh. There's no ground there. That's just a dark abyss. All right, I'm going in. Don't see anything. The light is out. I need to find a flashlight. It's on the second floor near the computer. Okay, second floor near the computer. This is the room where the flashlight is. Cool. Oh, well, nice. Right in the box. That's where I keep my flashlights. Yeah, in my filing box. That's where I keep all my flashlights. My filing boxes. All right, all right. Coming down. It's so funny. It's actually not funny. It's mildly terrifying. Usually I'm not, I'm like, I'm not too scared. Usually like at baseline when I play these games, but then you get, I get to points like this where it's very dark and there's a woman crying in the darkness and I'm supposed to go find where she is and what she's doing. And then I get tingles all over my body. <laughs> Happens all the time. Man, I really don't like this. All right. Mm. She's gonna be right behind me. I know it. I know it. <laughs> there was certainly something wrong with her. Yeah, dude. Yeah, of course there's something wrong with her, man. She had no eyes. She had zero eyes. Whew, man. Okay, I called that one, but even still, that was, that one was big. That one was big. They need to have a game that's just jump scare after jump scare, like immediately. Man, the door is chained shut. What a disappointment. <laughs> What a disappointment. It's crazy how like nonchalant these people are whenever clearly crazy activity is going on. There's a bump in my actual house. And my son's upstairs dropping stuff. Let me guess, bolt cutter, right, man? It's like, how many bolt cutters have we, have we run across in these games? How lucky to have a bolt cutter in the basement? Yeah, no one saw that coming. All right, let's cut this chain. There we go. First, my sister knocks me out and then the lights go out. Great. Just so nonchalant about everything that's going on. Your sister knocked you out, but also she had no eyes. All right, let's go find the phone. Hello? Hey, son, I know what happened to her. Go to your room. Under the bed, there is something that will help you. I need to go to my room. There's something under the bed that will help me. My dad said there's. he knows what happened. Goodness, I was... <laughs> All right, wasn't expecting that either. So wait, wait, that was my dad. And he knows what happened to my sister and there's something under my bed. That's good. <laughs> Son of a kid. I would just leave, man. I would just leave. There's no chance that I would do anything else. <laughs> These jump scares are brutal. All right, under the bed. Oh. <laughs> a 12 gauge shotgun is always the answer to all of life's problems. That's good night. <laughs> What was that? Am I supposed to blast my sister away? What's going on? I'm not gonna lie. This game took a big turn. I was not expecting this. I can hear her walking somewhere. <laughs> All right, sis. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm actually not quite sorry because I don't think you are your, my sister anymore. I think you're actually just possessed. Hey, sit. Hey, sit. 
Hey, sis. Oh my gosh. I hear her feet clip plapping her. Oh. <laughs> oh, bro. What is this? <laughs> she... Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Hey, sis. Where are you at? There she is. Kablam! Oh. I'm so sorry. What happened? I don't understand. I didn't know how to help her. I didn't know how to help her, so I shot her in the chest with a 12 gauge shotgun. This feels like the end. I hope it was just another nightmare. Hey, puppy. I had a dog like that. Okay. Oh, what is this? Why does the phone keep ringing? That's not the question I'd be asking, man. I'd be asking like, where am I at? Because this is, this is wild. Tim Buck says it's my dad. You guys got Venmo? Okay, let's just press on. I gotta straighten myself up here. I'm slouching. I'm slouching, man. I got such bad posture. I gotta fix that. All right, I guess we're just walking into... Wait, oh no. Here's a note. Let's see. As a child, my brother experienced a trauma related to his father. I did not see my father myself, but my brother suffered. After that, my brother developed sadistic tendencies and mental problems. My mom met our stepdad and Dan almost forgot about it. We used to have a dog, but it's gone. Dan said it ran away. I'm scared for my brother, and I try to help him whenever he has a seizure. I hope he gets better. Oh. Oh. So, I'm the problem. So, I'm... No, 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 it's a nightmare again. I need to find a way out. Here's a way out. Oh, oh, oof, this is getting pretty dark. I've said this before, guys. If anybody here struggles with depression, this is not the answer. This right here is not the answer. I'm telling you, there's so much hope in Christ. Jesus Christ offers so much hope. And I know this isn't the message that you probably were expecting, maybe. Come here to watch a guy play a horror game, but I'm telling you, your life is always worth living and there is abundant hope and grace and forgiveness in Jesus. Hope you guys know that. Hope you guys, hope you guys know that. It all started a year ago when we decided to make a game together. Initially, the game was supposed to have a completely different story and idea, but we decided to change it, so we started making Fatal Midnight. After a while, the game was released on an indie site where it became successful, and after a while, we decided to finish it and put it on Steam. The development, the development was delayed, and that's why it's only coming out now. To create the game, it took three bottles of mud, one computer, 35 liters of good cola, one pizza, five one-liners, and one podic? One broken HDMI wire, one spicy noodles from Dubai, three pairs of socks, five kilometers of toilet paper, <laughs> two movie tickets from Turtle Turtlebot, one Oni Girl Gurry, 15 packs of chips, five packs of cigarettes, one sheepskin coat, and one ear flap, swollen egg, 20 calves called rent an apartment in the center of, Ch I'm not even gonna pronounce that, try to, one broken lip. Thanks for your help, helped with the help with Steam, no text. Thanks for Licka for what you have. Thanks for the development horror game, blindness from those borrowed a couple ideas. Thanks for apartment of some man, N4BA. Thanks for absence. Thanks to Sergi. Okay, believe that the game will be released. Sweaty hands, special thanks. Thanks for the bugs, N4BA. My mom for giving me the money for the slot, sweaty hand. Thanks to my dad for dying. What? My grandmother's for helping me. Thanks, Ola, for leaving me so I could finish the game. Sweaty. Okay, thanks to the guys, Group 36, for believing. Subscribe to Golden Boys TG channel. Turkle, Turkle, it's <laughs> from taking me to the movies, making the game, Sweaty Hand and Ranwog. The story was done by Sweaty Hand, musical, Sweaty Hand, technical condition, Ranwog, Sweaty Hand titles. Thanks, Mom, for believing, believing in me. Not a single dog or sister was hurt during the game. <laughs> the end. Okay, that was funny. With the game being that heavy at the end, I feel like them putting that in there, even, even though it wasn't really related to the game, the story at all, like, that was good like comedic relief guys that was my playthrough of fatal midnight hope you guys enjoyed it hope to see you all in the next video and until then god bless and take care